everyone and welcome back. The countdown is officially on. It's two days, 48 hours until I fly to America and Walt Disney World. So excited, as if you couldn't tell already. So, um, I'm in the process of packing and first world problems, I hate packing and I'm always finding ways to procrastinate and distract myself. So I thought this is the perfect time to do a vlog for you all. And of course that is what is in my park bag. So here we have got the bag that I'll be using when I go. Um, I decided to opt for the old rucksack because I didn't want to be carrying something around with me, but I really like this one. It's from Kath Kidston. It's a nice small, model it for you. It's a nice small shape. Um, so it's not going to be too clumsy, too large for the for the parks. Um, what I also really liked about it is um, it's made of this kind of waterproof material. Um, so it means that you know if there are wet rides and things like that, my belongings are going to be safe and dry. Plus, it's Kath Kidston, and I love the design, um, and just think it's really really pretty. So I will feel nice and stylish while I'm in the parks as well. Uh, so, what is actually going to be filling this bag while I'm there? Uh, there's going to be quite a few things. It's a bit of a Mary Poppins bag, that rucksack. You can fit a lot in there, despite it looking quite small. So we'll start off with the stuff that is kind of basic, what I've got to have just as day to day. So I've got my sunglasses and the case that they're in. These are just my cheap pair of sunglasses uh, from Topshop. Um, I don't want to take an expensive pair into the parks with me because I'm so clumsy, they'll fall off my head, they'll fall on the floor and I don't want to be upset if I damage them. As well as that, of course, I'm going to Disney so got to wear the, uh, the old ears. I've also got my Queen Ursula ones um, there in my suitcase already so yeah, these ones are going to have to do for this video. Um, everyday stuff as well, I've got my purse. Now what I really like about this one is it's a travel purse. So I can fit all my regular cards, my dollars, a pen, always handy, and my good old passport. Um, I like to carry that around with me just because I'm in another country and I just like to have two forms of ID with me when I'm abroad. So yeah, so that's really handy. Then just kind of a first aidy kind of point of view. I've got my painkillers, just some paracetamol and plasters. Can never go wrong with having a few plasters, so they'll be in my purse. Anyone who knows me, they know I'm addicted to Tic Tacs. Um, I just eat them all day long, so I actually actually need to top up on those um, before I go because that's not there's there's five in there that that's not going to be enough, is it? Now fingers crossed it's not going to rain, but in case it does, oh it hit my ears. That's why I say it's bad luck. Now hopefully it's not going to rain, but in case it does, I've got my umbrella. Okay, it actually was bad luck because I've now hurt my thumb as well. Can you see? <laughs> Not really good. We're going to America, it's gonna be hot, so I've got my sun cream, uh, factor 30, and I've got my five star UVA, uh, so my mum will be proud of me. Mum, officially adulting, right there, proper sun cream. And I've even got a uh, lip balm as well, um, so that I don't burn my lips. And it's a moisturizer as well. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate the feeling of sun cream on my hands. So I've got hand sanitizer here. It's, it was a Christmas present, so it's, you know, it's got Santa paws, it's all kind of jazzy, but I like it. Um, it's a really good, it's a really good size. Uh, the hand gel is actually glittery, which makes it even better. But yeah, that would just be really nice. Also, you know, if I get ice cream on my hands, because I'm just a messy eater, uh, <laughs> it will just mean I can be nice and clean as well. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to mosquitoes, that's never fun, so I've got my extra strength uh, mosquito spray. I actually really recommend this. It's got a really nice citrusy smell. Um, it's not the cheapest of things, but it does the job. And for somebody who does get really allergic to uh, mosquitoes, I don't know if you can see my neck's like properly swollen from when I was bitten last week. Um, this is really good um, for me to use, so I'll be taking that. Going on to a more technical side now. I've got my camera, now I'm a bit upset on my Croatian holiday, I seem to break the lens. It still works, thankfully, but just the cover's a little bit broken, but this is the camera I used to be taking photos on. Then, of course, I'll be using this vlogging camera, but I can't really show that to you, um, along with taking spare batteries, um, spare 
memory cards, things like that. Got to have my phone as well, and as we know, uh, Disney is now operating off the uh, My Disney World Experience app, which is all available on here. Um, I've also been told that that app runs your batteries down quite quickly, so I've also got uh, an external charger, which is really nice and easy, and you just plug it into your phone using the normal charger line uh, and that'll just mean I've got a little bit extra time on my phone. Got to stay hydrated so bottle of water um, I won't be taking this bottle I'll be buying one out there but just for purposes in case you didn't know what a bottle of water looked like. I'm also going to be having my planning book uh, now this is I've shown you in previous videos this is the book that I've just used to write down the things that I want to do. Um, I've also got a slightly larger book in fact I can show you I've got this book, um, which has been great for planning uh, what I want to do, what's available at the parks, places to eat, things like that. Um, but I, it's too big to take to the parks, so I've been writing key things down in this smaller one, which I'll take out to the parks with me. And then the fun one, I am so excited and pleased with this. Um, I've got this book here for my autograph book. Now this is the um, Everything I Need to Know I Learned from a Disney Little Golden Book. I got this on Amazon for about five pounds, and it's absolutely beautiful. I've got my Sharpies for the characters to sign. Uh, they're great because they're slightly chunkier, they come in different colours to make it more fun and exciting. Um, essentially, this is a bit like a kid's book, but for adults uh, using the Disney um, stories. So it, it's all about this kind of like, life is great kind of idea. But as you can see, it covers practically every single story. Um, so my idea is that I'm going to get the characters to sign the pages um, that their story is on. There's quite a few Finding Dory ones there. Um, but it's, it's an absolutely beautiful book. I was so pleased when it came through. Pages are really thick, really good quality, shiny paper. Um, and I think I'm going to get good character interactions from that. It's hardback, so it is a little heavier than I'd have hoped, but with it being in the rucksack, I think it will be easy for me to carry around. It fits perfectly. Um, yeah, so that is everything that's in my park bag. Um, I've tried to stick to the bare essentials, uh, just because I'll be carrying it around all day and I don't want to get weighed down. Um, as I go on, there might be things that I decide I don't want to take in every day. We'll, we'll see. Um, but that's the idea of what's in my park bag. So if you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Um, I will be releasing the vlogs of this Walt Disney World trip um, from the beginning of September. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on them. Um, I am so excited. And by the time that this gets uploaded, I will actually be in the States. So uh, I'm sure I'll be having an amazing time. Uh, and yes, until next time. I'll see you later.